With Easter behind us, the girls return to school and prepare to demonstrate some of their creative skills. So the art exhibition happens on the 23rd of May and it displays the work for GCSE and A-level students. So my work will be on from like, all the work that I've done throughout the last two years. And we celebrated Mr Egg winning Wiltshire Life Teacher of the Year. We're quite unique here. We don't do uh, what they call endorsed titles. So we don't produce potters or painters, printmakers, uh, digital designers, textile artists. We produce all-round artists. We do that because when the students go on to study at degree level, they want all around creative people and so you'll see a range of stuff here, um, ceramics, sculpture, textiles, fashion, um, painting, drawing, printmaking uh, and digital art. With exams fast approaching, the upper sixth girls are also preparing for life after school. But first, it's time for their leavers ball. We've got their OGA Leavers ball, so I'm really excited. But I ripped my dress last night, so I've had to get Miss Josie, the art teacher, to fix it for me. Oh my god! <laughs> so I was reflecting upon your time here and wondering about um, the, the support and the help and the advice that you have. Hands up! <laughs> Hands up! Who's been down to see Sister Jill since they've been at Godolphin? <laughs> went off without a hitch. Well, almost. It's all good. It's resolved. Uh, the rope dress couldn't get fixed, so we've had to go for a different dress now. So luckily we had one to wear, so I didn't have to come in like normal clothes. But it's all good. It's resolved. Although the end is near for the Liebers, school life goes on for our younger good orphan girls. I'm just about to move into sixth form and I'm really excited. It'll be really different, I think. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest, but I'm also very excited too because being at the top of the school, you've got new responsibilities. We get a lot more independence and you get treated more like an adult. You get to wear home clothes, so I think it's kind of preparing you for life at university. It's more like that. Are we doing an interview? Yeah, we're doing an okay. interview. Okay, so tell me what you've done Stop today. Stop it. So today we've just played the vicious match. Annual, of course. Please and it. did you win? Of course, course we won! It was, it was a close call for a minute, but it was a yeah, with our skills. Cool. Past time it was we a We pulled it back, pulled it back. Yeah, we did because obviously... Okay, okay. <laughs> Good. The CCF year comes to an end with their amazing 10 tours. 10 tours challenge. 35 miles. Yeah. 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 yeah, really yeah. nervous. Really yeah, never yeah. excited. Yeah. It's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's an achievement. Yeah. You can definitely tell yeah. who, who are serious and who maybe are just doing it for fun. A lot of courage and to keep going determination when it gets tough. I think it's told me I don't want to be in the army. That's one thing it has said. It's all a bit hard and all very organised, very, yeah, not really my thing. It's still fun, I'll still go. I mean, at the end, I think you get a medal for doing it, so I should know, do it for that. As the year draws to a close, the school comes together for Interhouse Sports Day, although not everyone is excited. Do I look like I get involved in sports day? Um, I'm there, um, sometimes I'm measuring things, but my maths isn't very good. But that's about the limit as uh, sports day is concerned. Though. Yes, I will break some yeah. records today. I think we come first and second in 200 as well. Yeah, I hope That'd be yeah. good. and the school comes together one final time for Interhouse Performing Arts. There was the usual great excitement as girls from all years came together to create, direct and perform. Congratulations to Douglas, this year's winners. As we leave the rest of the school celebrating the end of term, for upper sake, 
the focus is firmly on the future. When I leave school, I'm going to go to Warwick to study history and politics. When I leave, I am going to Camberwell School of Arts in London. I'm going to do an art foundation in Amsterdam and then I'm coming back to do architecture at UCL. I'm doing a gap year and I'm going to do a cooking course. Woo. Travel Southeast Asia, South, South America. America. And then I'm going to university to study history of art at Oxford Brooks. Argentina, then Chile, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, then Colombia, and then finish. we're gonna finish in Costa Rica. I'm gonna do French and Italian at uni because I've always wanted to be fluent in definitely French, and I think it'd be great to be fluent in more than one language. I plan to go and train to be a midwife. I would like to go to India and set up a charity, not to transport people to hospitals because you can only do that for, for a few people. I'd like to go and train people properly to go to the house. And yeah, I've never really said out loud, that's, that's my plan. <laughs> that's a good plan. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I will be doing something History of Art related, hopefully work at Christie's auction house. Uh, in 10 years time, I will be a surgical assistant at St. Thomas's Hospital. In 10 years time, I'll be doing something related to biochemistry, hopefully working at a pharmaceutical company. And in 10 years time, I'll be a housewife in Hampshire. <laughs> I ruined it for all she of you. She probably it. will be. <laughs> they keep in touch with each other, so they form lifelong friendships. Um, so although we're saying farewell to them, actually they keep coming back. More importantly, they keep in touch with each other. It's a small school, and so we know each other, and we care about each other. Um, and it's just a lovely place to come into work to every day, really. I'll be, be very sad to leave. Mm. It's been a big part yeah. of my life for the past seven years. Not only like the friends, but also some of these teachers I've known since I was literally so young. Sitfam has taught me not when something goes wrong, don't stress out because something right will happen. And it's also taught me that you always have people there to help. I think I'll feel ready. Yeah, I, I was going to say that as well. Yeah, I think I'll feel ready. But it's been a lovely little community that you've been part of for a very long yeah. time to then leave and not have. Mrs. Jones, housemistress, sort of asking you if you're okay and that sort of thing. I think will be it'll be very different, and I think it will be difficult. But I think I'll feel ready for yeah, it. Yeah, I think everyone will be quite prepared because I think the school prepares us really well. But I'll definitely be kind of sad as well because yeah. I have loved it so much, and I think it's helped us grow a lot as well. Oh, yeah, um, and kind of build our confidence and everything. So yeah, a bit sad. Great. Let's drop the test. Have a good day.